Okay, hey guys, my name is Reese. Uh, this is my stack, uh, stack Lab project. So what I did here is I put together an IoT dashboard. IoT is Internet of Things, so like uh, sensors, distributed sensors, and uh, what I did is I put together a dashboard that would sort of collect the data from those sensors <coughs> and display it for a user. So what I'll do first is I'll log in. And so I get my dashboard. Um, so this data that's coming in now is, <coughs> uh, the site uses something called MQTT, which is um, Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, which is just a protocol for, it's like a pub-sub protocol, kind of like WebSockets to, to uh, subscribe to the sensors. So this, this Chrome browser that I'm running in now is acting as an MQTT client. Um, these sensors are also MQTT enabled and they're also acting as clients. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. Um, that's publishing to the same feed to which this dash dashboard is subscribed. Um, so, so yeah, you're getting this data in live time, and uh, I, I just sort of step back a sec. When you first log in, it grabs all of the uh, sensors associated with a given user, so it is tied to a DB on the back end. Um, and so the, the other sort of spoof sensors that I have in front of me are a, um, a sound sensor, which would in, in, in practice be placed next to a fire alarm, uh, and a magnetic sensor, which would be placed on a door to determine whether that door is open or closed. And so I have a hidden button on my site, which is just, I hope I do. Oh. Yeah. Uh, here, that, that should send a signal. This is acting as a client now, and so it should send a signal, set off this siren, which should then set off the sound alarm. Maybe. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I will just manually uh, send the fire alarm high. Oh, it already has gone high. Don't know how that happened. Uh, so that's what it looks like when a fire alarm goes off. It is set up with Node Mailer to uh, shoot you an email. I'd like to get it set up with Twilio. Uh, last thing I have is a magnet, which is going to sort of simulate the, the door being opened or closed. When that happens, you see the door symbol there opens and closes, go away, and uh, it should give you the time at which uh, the change took place. Uh, and that's really what I've got set up so far. Um, and that's my stackathon. <laughs>